Why do so many people have gallstones? Well, it's interesting that you look at the gallstone epidemic, but there's a number of factors. So if you look at it, it's not something that's absolutely one thing or the other. So right. you, for example, genetics are extremely important. So in certain areas, uh, for example, Native Americans is extremely high. In fact, the Pima Indians in, in Arizona are known as 70% of the, of the folks in the tribe have gallstones. But a lot of it is also based on your health habits, uh, such as obesity, the aging population. You see a significant number of patients it occurs as you get older. Uh, you see it as well with regard to gender. Females by far higher risk. Higher risk, wow. uh, at least two to one, and in younger years, it's four to one. So it's it's a big, big difference. So there's certain things that are that make it up, and it's the combination of all. Because you've even seen they've done twin studies where they had twins, and then they took their spouses, and it wasn't what they were eating; it was the fact that they were twins that made the difference. So you you know there there, there are some factors in the diet, but everybody wants to know you know, how do we stop this or how do we, what do I do? And the reality is a lot of this is built in. Right, so what is the connection between gallstones and gallbladder disease? All right, so gallbladder disease is when the gallstones cause a problem to the gallbladder. So the okay. gallbladder is just a little sac. And the little sac, normally all it has in it is something called bile, which is a liquid, and that liquid can sometimes separate uh, and that will form the stones. Once the stones form, the fact that they're there in and of themselves is not the problem. The issue is that those gallstones can move around, they can cause damage to the wall of the gallbladder, they can get stuck in the gallbladder, they can travel down the bile ducts, so there's a lot of different things that can go mm -hmm. wrong here. And when they do, that is what we term gallbladder disease. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you have 25 million people with gallbladder uh, stones doesn't right. mean that those 25 million need surgery. In fact, probably about 700 to a million people in this country annually get surgery is still a huge number. But it's it the, may not necessarily mean that you're going to have gallbladder disease. Correct. You may have gallstones. They may find them because they're checking your kidneys or because they're doing a study for other reasons. And if you're not symptomatic, you don't need to have your gallbladder out.